Happy Monday, everybody. It is a great Monday. We have a fun week coming up. It's Valentine's week. And then next week, we're going to have a four-win week where we're going to have some celebrations of excellence uh, in the seventh and, and sixth grade. And then we'll have eighth grade the following week. We got a pep session next week. We got all kinds of stuff this week. We have Super Bowl winners this week. Um, got a Super Bowl winner in class. Who was it? Chiefs won, but who was it that got the score as close as possible? All right, we only had four people, four advisory classes that chose the Chiefs winning, and one of them came the closest and got the MVP right. So let's get to some of these announcements here. All right, today is Monday, February the 13th, 2000. 23, and these are your morning announcements. Westlane Middle School is an avid school-wide site of distinction. The mission of Westlane Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat to a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. All right, let's get wildcat ready, everyone. Lanyards and IIDs are around our necks. Binders and our agenda books are with us. Backpacks, fanny packs, and purses are in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods will not be worn in classrooms or in the hallway. Uh, you must put those away. Phones in your locker, period. Blankets, stay at home. All right, say so look at today's schedule. It is win, period, one, two, three, and four today in between two advisories. All right, let's talk about cleaning up Wesley. Make sure we clean up our messes in the hallways, in the cafeterias, in the classrooms, in the restrooms. Let's make sure we are keeping everything clean. Make sure we're not clogging the restrooms. Eighth grade gentlemen, I'm looking at you. Um, the, hall, the bathrooms are back to being open, uh, but let's just say if they continue to be what last week happened, I will close them up again. And I will actually tell all the eighth grade boys who was it that caused our bathrooms to be closed, and I will also do the same for seventh, and if we have to do for sixth, although sixth has been pretty decent, uh, seventh, uh, watch your kind of actions in the bathroom. On time every time, that is Wildcat time. We'll continue to uh, make sure you're on time to class. Let's get it to where no one's tardy every day this week all right say the date february the 24th from 6 to 8 p.m is the west lane pto presenting the fire and ice dance or affectionately known as the icy hot dance um red and blue uh, it is going to be five dollars to enter we will have plenty of food on sale that time the theme is fire and ice so of course if you wore all white or something uh to wear red to wear blue uh, it really is dressed to impress, and we will have a DJ, and it'll be 6 to 8 uh, next Friday, the 24th, our Fire and Ice Winter Dance. All right, yearbook time. Don't forget, the cost is $30, and they must be ordered by February the 28th. All payments are due by February 28th, or they will not be able to be sold. Don't forget, you need to sign up by this Thursday if you want to go to the First annual winter clinic for North Central softball. Everybody in the school is eligible. If you want to play softball this year and look at both sessions are 16 or $15 per session, but you get a t-shirt, please visit www.gowtll.org to register. Are you interested in North Cent Choir North Central? Again, this Thursday will be a call out 7 p.m. at North Central. And then in two weeks from tomorrow, you'll be able to uh, audition here at Northville Choir. See Mr. A if interested. All right, Black History Month celebrating Black excellence. Talk about Doug Williams. That was a question I asked last week. We know we had yesterday. We had two, uh, the first time ever, two Black quarterbacks starting in a Super Bowl, and the first, but the first Black quarterback ever to start a Super Bowl uh, and win was Doug Williams when he led. He and the Washington Redskins won Super Bowl twenty two in nineteen eighty seven. Um, I don't know how many people in this building actually saw that Super Bowl. I know I did. Uh, they defeated the Broncos 42 to 10. Williams was also named MVP of the Super Bowl. And actually, actually, yesterday, if you watched the game, uh, right before the game, he actually displayed the Lombardi Trophy prior to the game yesterday. He still worked for the football team in Washington and now called the Commanders. Ethan Williams from Miss Benavidez advisory had all four parts of those questions right in his email to me uh, on Friday. So Ethan Williams, come on down and get your advisory some treats for getting and knowing Doug Williams was the first black quarterback to win a Super Bowl with the Washington Redskins, now the Commanders. Nice work, Ethan. All right, so yesterday was a Super Bowl, and who, okay, so we know the Chiefs won. 
on a last second field or not a last second field goal, but eight seconds left field goal. Very good game. Very exciting. Both teams played very well. Uh, very enjoyable Super Bowl yesterday for some more than others. But which advisory got it the closest? That would be Miss Petronoff's advisory. They predicted it would be 34 31, a Chiefs win, and they thought Patrick Mahomes would be the MVP. The final score, they had this point spread right actually, too. But the final score was Chiefs 38, Eagles 35. The MVP was Patrick Mahomes. And congratulations to Miss McGee and Miss Miller's advisory. You were very close, but you were not as close. Uh, so they were only eight points off total uh, in the game. And so that was awesome. So Miss, someone missed Petronoff's advisory. Come on down and get your donuts and go nuts for donuts uh, this morning for being so close and getting the correct time MVP. Had it been the Eagles, we'd have had a lot. Of, we'd have had a discussion because I had a lot of advisories on the Eagles yesterday, and actually a couple of you at certain points of the game were dead on with the score. Uh, so yes, yeah, so if they did come back and got a touchdown yesterday, they'd have believed I haven't talked to this story, but. Yes, everybody got now. Someone too. Okay, now a class. I'm not gonna say who did predict a three to two score, which that would have been amazing. Uh, but also they picked the Tyreek Hill as the MVP, and he does not play for the Chiefs anymore. <laughs> he plays for the Dolphins. But thank you all for participating, and um, so nice work, Miss Petronov's class. Monday Tech Check. Do you have your computer? Do you have a sticky pouch with your name on it? Is your computer working? And does the charger have your name on it, even though those go home? There is no such thing as free time on a computer. Tech reminder on a Monday. Um, and com- tech reminder too, computers do not go home with any students. Just don't. All right, don't ask. None of your parents have called me. We're not doing it. And computers are a privilege, not a right. All right, after today's win, uh, after today's adv- announcements, we are going to be, again, pushing. Uh, drop everything and read. Uh, I know previous years we've done IXL. You guys didn't like that, and so you told me about it. So we thought, oh, let's put in something else. Um, so we're going to drop everything and read. That'll be at 940 to 1010 today. Then we'll do a brain interval. Then we'll do agenda setup on Canvas, and we'll review. And also, too, uh, look for an email. We'll be doing some more honored schools. If you don't know, Westlane has the second most honored schools at, uh, um, honors in the township. And so what I'd like to do is continue to honor our, and honor our teachers, and I'm going to start reading them off here on announcements. So I got through the honor roll, and I'm going to talk about the teacher they gave, uh, the honor to, and so we'll start doing that as well. Then from 1025 to 1058, we'll do academic assistance. Look at tutoring opportunities for the week today. Got a bunch. Uh, Real, Jackson, Porter, Martini, Perry, and Marble today. A lot of math help. Well, I must be getting midterm time. Got some tests coming up. Now, tomorrow, there's nothing. Uh, it's Valentine's Day, and so we're not staying after tomorrow unless you got to practice. And then Wednesday, uh, we see Petronoff, Porter, Marble, and Perry. And then on Thursday, we see Jayla with pre algebra. So, a lot of staying after today, a lot of math staying after. Um, so, we're, we're a busy, busy week this week. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast. And all cell phones in your locker between 915 and 415, they'll be taken if they're seen or heard. And don't forget our motto, every wildcat, every day gets better. Don't forget tomorrow, too. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and some of you will be bringing these big gifts. All I ask is any stuffed animal does stay in your locker for the day. If it's huge and can't fit in your locker, it can just sit in my office all day and hang out with me. Um, so we'll do that. But, yeah, we'll get it back at the end of the day. I'm, we don't confiscate them, but we do say, hey, listen, let's not make them a distraction. So um, have a great Monday, every, Monday everybody. Uh, thank you for those who also supported the Best Buddies Cookie Drive. Those will be delivered tomorrow. And have a marvelous Monday.